The Jets have not been good. They've lost six straight games. They have scored nine goals in that stretch, allowing the Habs to now be two points behind them. Nick Ehlers is out. Adam Lowry is out. Brother of Kyle, yes. I mean, you know, to, to add, these both happened against the Leafs because they are dirty boys, of course, and very dirty boys. But what, this what, is just code? like... Sh- see, this is when the criticism of Shifley can, is justified. Uh, same with Blake Wheeler. Though the question has to be asked, guys, do you think they're missing Patrick Laine right now? But um, uh, oh, I mean, I think Dubois, just, like again, what I've said before, he fits in that lineup a lot more than what a line A could do. Also, I think just he's a bit more well liked based on what he gives to the team. Wheeler's not a hundred percent. I don't believe. Yeah, that, but, but definitely not. Again, it's just it's it's another story I have with this core where. They have, they have the skill. They have the pieces there. It's just there's something about it where when one thing goes down, one person goes down, it's it's like an immediate thing where it's like oh suddenly they're not playing the way they were before. Like they're not they're not flying. Well, I mean, when, if you want a guy who can skate the puck, that's Nick Ehlers, right? And um, a big part of like their shutdown game for a team that's maybe not great defensively is Adam Lowry. And, you know, they, they let Montreal get in. Like, the Jets are a team that we know they can't defend that well. And if they can't get, you know, bailed out by Connor Hellebuck, and then they're missing a big part of the engine, and then if other guys aren't picking up the slack, it's not looking great. And, again, like, if they if they can stay on this course and they play the Oilers, the Jets aren't going to make it. And, and I think this puts more sort of, and hindsight is always twenty twenty, as we know, but does this not give more like, could you not have moved a Christian Veselainen and tried made some move for a defenseman bigger than Jordy Ben? Yeah, it, it just, it felt like everyone, it, and, and I think um, what, what De, uh, Sheffel Dayov said it in the press or after the trade deadline, no, everyone they wanted, like, I think they were in on both Alexiak and Ekholm and they just didn't get moved, which was unfortunate. I wonder if I, I'm just looking like you brought it up. They've scored uh, nine goals in their last six games. And like, they've been outscored like heavy. You think there's just, is it, defending is it defenseman or is it the lack of scoring in the last few games that has really hampered them you could argue it's a bit of both i mean you you know if you're allowing a lot of goals like the the thing with the jets is like it's the firepower that they rely so heavily on and it's like it's getting ahead but then if you can't hold that lead you're, and again, here's the, the big thing with the Jets is, is, and I hate, sorry to repeat myself here, it's if you don't have the strength down the middle, you're kind of boned. And oh, I, I yeah. wonder if, if Hellebuck, I'm going to get up his individual numbers over the past few games, but then you you also wonder, crap, have they played Hellebuck too much and is he going to be tired too? Yeah, I was going to say that too because the big concern I have now is in this shortened season, he's played a lot. Would you and, like to know his stats from the 22nd onwards, Daniel? Sorry. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, go ahead. So on the 22nd, that was the game against the Leafs. Three goals, six shots gets pulled, right? Um, then the other game against the, the Leafs, three goals against again a 917 against the Oilers <laughs> gets pulled. So, oh my God, a 739. But then against the Oilers again. A 923. Okay, he had a good game there. But then against the Habs, it's an 882. So there's been a bit of inconsistency there. That could be a thing of it. And I guess like the games he is showing up, they're not scoring a ton. They don't trust their backup. That, so that's that seems worry. I, I like it feels like the obvious thing, but that is worrying for a team of Winnipeg's uh standing that when Connor Hellebuck isn't on his game, you can't win. Like I, I, I'll use the Leafs as an example because the last four years have been like that. When Frederick Anderson isn't on his game, it you guys have trouble. Like, there's shocking similarities there. Yeah, there's a lot of similarities, and I just pulled up their di- on daily faceoff. They're going with the one, two, three of Shifley, Stats, and Pierre Luc Dubois. Like I don't know if it's down the middle that's necessarily the like. Oh boy, yeah. Never like mind. you know, you know what I mean. They're doing the thing that I expected them to do when they traded for Pierre-Luc Dubois. And it seems to 
and it's only a six game stretch, but it seems to be not working at the moment. And when they, this is the worst possible time for this to be happening, by the way, we're five games away from the playoffs. If they lose third place and then they go up against the Leafs in the first round on this crap stretch, and then let's say the Leafs get the reinforcement of Nash, Hyman, and a healthy Freddie Anderson, it ain't looking good for the Jets. No. It is not. You don't want to. Look what happened to Tampa Bay in their 62 win season when, like, they, like, 62 wins, but they kind of stumbled into the playoffs and got humiliated. And that was against the Blue Jackets. Yeah. And then this is the most complete Leafs team. It's really when you look at the Jets, great top six, um, you know, great goaltender. And before this season, the similarities, it's like, it's honestly, um, you, you think of it, Morgan Riley in this scenario is basically, um, why can't Morris. I think, think of the name? Josh Morrissey. It's basically Josh Morrissey. <laughs> and it, it's, it's like the, the Jets are currently like the Leafs of the last few years. And you're like, ah, oh, well, that's a problem. Um, it doesn't look great for them. 